Hey everyone, it's Maddie here from dclblogger.com. In this video, I'm going to be covering crypto voxels because it just deserves all the attention today. It's been absolutely smashing the um, rankings charts today. In fact, it, although it's sitting at 789 Ethereum for the last seven days, almost double that of Decentraland. <clears throat> I just tweeted this uh, around an hour ago and um, they actually were sitting at 1,300 Ethereum, which is like three times Decentraland almost. Um, it kind of eclipses everything else. In fact, it's probably the sum of all the other trades. And, and I really wanted to investigate why. Um, I think it's just recently where we've ticked over into a new day. So that volume's kind of decreased a little bit. But um, what the hell is CryptoVoxels? First of all, if you don't know what CryptoVoxels is, um, I have been following the project for a while. It's pretty cool, like Minecraft-y type world. In fact, it's been a long... It's been around either maybe longer than Decentraland or um, I know the world has been out longer than Decentraland uh, where you can actually visit the world. And the best thing about it, right, that you can just literally click play now. I can send you a link to my parcel <clears throat> with certain coordinates, send someone a link and it's all browser based, right? So as soon as you click on that, um, you're pretty much in the world. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So you can jump in the world and kind of look around. You can go see what other people have built. Um, it's very Minecrafty in that sense. It's pretty easy to build, I also believe. I don't really play around with it too much. I just follow the sales, right? I always follow the um, OpenSea sales rankings and keep my eye on what the hell is going on. But I know CryptoVoxels has also become... Ooh, nonfungible.com. All right, well, that's where they... Who is that? Hey, it's an Axie. <clears throat> I think you can also click into OpenSea. Nope. Not on that one. CryptoPunks, it's pretty cool. But um, I know this uh, crypto voxels has also become synonymous with art. A lot of um, art from Super Rare, gal um, their artists are coming and making galleries in um, uh, this crypto voxels. And, um, you know, people that are, they're kind of co, kind of collaborating in that sense where you can kind of buy it in Super Rare, you can buy art in Super Rare and you can kind of put in your parcel in, um, Crypto voxels. So anyway, you can you can fly, you can do all kinds of things, but this is basically what it is. And if you look at the map, it's a really awesome map made by Spidey Monkey, who needs definitely needs to be uh, credited properly because he's a very talented dude. So I'm gonna make sure you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, Spidey Monkey is a champion, and he's made a lot of tools for Decentraland and Crypto voxels and just the general crypto space. He's owner, and I think he runs this as well. NFT crypto news, but he's the guy behind this. It's really cool. It's, it's like a, a heat map behind sales. And I've kind of listed, I've checked the listing price. So you can kind of, let's look at the last sale price. And you can see a heat map of the last sale prices. So you can see that it seems to be a lot of um, warm, like a lot more higher price parcels over here. Seems to, be, seems to be, is this the most recent sale? Um... I don't know how to check that. Anyway, <clears throat> so, but anyway, looking at the heat map, you can kind of see where the clustered or kind of popular areas are because that's where people have spent the money, right? Um, if you look at listing price, you can see that a lot of them are no more green. Seems to be, seems to me that a lot of the cheaper parcels have gone, either picked up by those whales that I mentioned before. Anyway, jumping back to nonfungible.com, you can kind of scroll down in, and every Wednesday, they hold a, they mint about 50 to 100 more new land into crypto voxels. And I think they're gonna cap it once it reaches about 3,000. Um, 3,000 land is actually not that much, to be honest. It's, it's a very small clustered amount of content, which is great. I, I actually prefer a world where things are built out centrally and kind of expanded on. Um, Decentraland have kind of gone big and they've just introduced this massive world and committed to building it all out. And I think it's gonna take some time till you can move around in Decentraland and see a bunch of awesome stuff close by. There's a lot of um, open land in Decentraland, and I think it may take six months or a year, but it's definitely going to get filled out. But something like CryptoVoxels, although there is definitely still a lot of open land, <clears throat> only being 3,000 parcels big, it can be uh, filled out a bit easier. So you can see every Wednesday you see a spike in volume. Look at this, every Tuesday, Wednesday you see a spike in volume because that's when these new parcels get introduced, and then everyone goes nuts on them on OpenSea. <clears throat> Especially over the last like four to five weeks, it's gone pretty damn crazy along with the whales coming in and buying other pieces of land as well. So if you look at the sales, um, if you look at CryptoVoxel sales, you can see that the recently sold ones, there's a, there's a massive sale 
I think this one sold for 500 Ethereum as a bundle one and two. Um, the reason being that one of them was um, a clustered amount of land in a very hot premium area and another and one other piece of land which was the third highest land in the whole game. So crypto voxels, unlike Decentraland, are not fixed in the sense that every parcel is not the same. Um, they have different areas, they have different dimensions in terms of height. Height is also different. So sometimes you may have a parcel that's really, really tall. It's obviously worth more than the others. And it introduces a very interesting dynamic to the rest because in Decentraland, every parcel is 16 by 16 meters and has the same build height. The only way you can increase your build height is by connecting more parcels of land. So in that sense, crypto voxels is actually quite different. Um, but yeah, it seems like a lot of the way, uh, a lot of the buying volume, <clears throat> if you kind of investigate these addresses, and this is the coolest thing about blockchain is you can actually click into these addresses. Um, so if you click into this, and you can go into the buyer's wallet, and you can see the kind of activity. You can see if you can figure out who he is. So you can see that um, it's a very new wallet. In fact, 13 hours ago, money was sent from Kraken or Ethereum was sent from Kraken straight to this wallet and it was used to purchase a bunch of land. Um, you can also see, let's kind of check out some other ones. Uh, let's see if this is the same buyer. Um, I don't know why that's capped. Can I see more view incoming transactions? <coughs> That doesn't make sense. It's only 0 0.1. Okay, let's look at another wallet. Let's look at this guy. Let's open up a few of these, actually. Let's open up this guy. Oh, that's a pretty... That's a lot of sales. But I like to see... It, it's interesting to see that it, it seems to me like there's a handful of whales behind this. That's a Kraken. Um, that's one whale there. Um, this is another one uh, this one seems to be 91 F sent two days ago from this address let's check, take a look at this address jeez that's a lot of money 182,000 USD holy crap 9,900 Ethereum coming from Bitfinex so maybe this whale is different to our Kraken whale maybe maybe not but if he has anywhere near 10,000 Ethereum, then that's pretty damn wild. Uh, we went through that wallet. This is another Kraken wallet at 120 Ethereum. So that this this one is the wallet that seems to be behind another bun, big bundle sale. I think this one over here. So these two were sold for 120 Ethereum earlier today. And then came the 250 Ethereum sale. Um, but anyway... I think um, non-fungible non is a little bit slow in terms of picking up this data. Um, so it, it hasn't updated the new sales to check out all of that. <clears throat> but it is interesting to see that sort of volume coming through, right? So seeing what crypto voxels is and what it can actually do, um, it's only 3,000 parcels large, which makes it a very intricate community. And as you build out, I think, I don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to introduce more land? Probably. But sometimes way into the future when the whole community agrees with it. I don't see Ben introducing more at the expense of the community. Um, but it'll be interesting to see once these uh, Wednesday sale days are over uh, and there's no more minting of new land, what's going to happen with the sales volume? I'm assuming it's going to go down drastically. And that's expected. It's not necessarily a bad thing. The only reason I personally watch volume is because I'm a trader, right? If I want to put money somewhere, I want to know that I can bring it back out some way. Uh, Decentraland have 45,000 pieces of land, and that's why there's regular sales volume with Decentraland. Uh, with crypto voxels, there's only 3,000, so there's not that many. So if you can imagine, there's a lot less wallet holders, and you know, if a couple of big whales actually have some plans to build out crypto voxels, then you're not going to see much sales volume. <clears throat> so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the project once that's over and you can't really buy more land and it's, it's up to that community to build it and bring more eyeballs into their world. Um, but uh, it seems very promising at the moment. <clears throat> but I also wanted to put a word out there for you know platform-based um, projects right now because they seem to be where it's at. 
uh, whether you're making art or you are kind of investing in a project that's it's a platform-based project to build other projects on top of, right? So other businesses can come and build on Decentraland or crypto voxels. It's interesting to see they're the ones topping the charts right now. Obviously, we had Gods Unchained and other projects have their time of fame at the moment, but consistent volume has seemed to be only a handful of projects and crypto voxel and Decentraland have been at the top, um, you know, mid to the top range for for two years now, consistently. But uh, yeah, guys, that's just a few words on what's been going on. Um, I'm still kind of, this this tweet's still going a bit crazy. <clears throat> but um, I think we also had Andrew over here who shed some light. Multiple whales along with the 500 Ethereum sale. There was also a 35, 50, 52, and 120 Ethereum sale. So yeah, whale activity does that, guys. You know, you can get rich off buying a lot of land or a lot of one you know, investing early into a project and if once that project blows up and, and some whales want to get involved and, you know, there's people out there that have so much money you can't even comprehend it. You might think you, your money is big in relative to you, but there's people out there with literally thousands, if not tens of thousands of Ethereum that maybe invested during the pre-sale and they're happy to throw around a bit of money, right, to diversify their portfolio. So the goal, you know, you're, we're, we're little fishes in, a, in an ocean of... A few whales here and there and if you can kind of get lucky and sell your portfolio to them or a large chunk of your portfolio for a massive profit margin you can get really lucky with the nft project with the nft space and that's what makes it to me so exciting is because um you know it's not like cryptocurrency where every token is worth the same each one's worth different so if a whale comes in and he wants your specific plots of lands or your set of uh, your collection then some of them will be willing to pay a lot of money, guys. Anyway, that was 100,000 USD for that one deal. So congrats to the seller and congrats to uh, CryptoVoxels for making a great project. And I hope they continue to do great things. <clears throat> but that's it, guys. Just a few words on what's going on with CryptoVoxels, um, what it is. And uh, yeah, hopefully you are a little bit more informed as to what the hell's going on in the NFT world at the moment.